Hi, it's Paul here at Transport Vlog and today I'm at Talara Station. This is the first in a new series of videos called The End of the Line, where I'm going to visit terminating stations or stations that have terminating services rather. And what I'll do at these stations is I'll have a look at the track layout, talk about the types of services that terminate here, look at the interchange opportunities. So if you've ever been at a busy mainline station and you've wondered what is at the end of the line, then this video and this series of videos is for you. So this is Talara Station. As you can see, it's quite small and quite basic, just one platform and a shelter that covers part of the platform. Talara is the terminus of the majority of the Hunter Line trains from Newcastle. On weekdays, it has two trains an hour with a few exceptions and on weekends, it's just one train an hour. On weekdays, five trains per day continue up the line to Dungog and six trains on a weekday take the other branch, terminating at either Singleton, Muswell Brook or Scone. Both these lines also have a few services at weekends. Here is a Hunter Endeavour set about to leave Talara on a service to Newcastle. Here is a standard Endeavour set that's about to terminate here. The platform is long enough to hold a two-car Endeavour set. Talara station has two different types of services. It has the all station service, which typically leaves at 37 on a weekday. This service also runs at weekends. And then there's a faster service that skips a few stops that leaves Talara typically at 10 minutes past the hour. There are occasional gaps where a faster service terminates at Maitland, or it comes to or from the Singleton and Scone line. The faster service only runs on weekdays, so at weekends Talara has the hourly all station service only. Half an hour to kill before the next train, so let's take a look at the station. So there are toilets, although they're locked when the station is not staffed, which is the case at the moment. There's a help point. There's a payphone. Does anyone still use those? And I've got the timetable. And then coming into the actual station entrance, you can see the sub seating. And there is a sign to buses. So there are buses on the New England Highway. So there is an interchange with buses. So now walking back towards the station entrance, you can see there's a small car park, but there's also bicycle parking as well. Talara Station does have a ticket office which is open at certain times of the day. You can see that there are two lines but only one serves the platform. I'll talk a bit more about the track layout in a moment. So this is the direction towards Maitland and Newcastle. So this station is staffed and there's someone here from 5.45 in the morning to 9.45 and then again from 2 in the afternoon to 6 p.m. And I was here just before 2 p.m. and I did see the afternoon staff member arriving. Dungog. 
as you can hear the next train will continue up the line to Dungog. So here is my attempt at sketching out the track layout at Talara. The lines in blue are passenger lines and the lines in black are freight lines. At the northwest end of the station the line becomes single track as it continues up towards Dungog and beyond. Here is a view of the points into the single track section. Besides serving Dungog, this single track line goes all the way up to northern New South Wales and crosses the border to Queensland, eventually ending up in Brisbane. The track to the left is used by freight and the XPT passenger service to Casino and Brisbane to bypass Talara station and continue up towards Dungog. The freight sidings immediately to the southeast of the station also feed into this line, as you can see here. So here is my sketch of the freight sidings. The line bending off to the right at the bottom goes to Singleton, Scone and on towards Tamworth. I'm not sure if these sidings are used to stable Hunter and Dever sets overnight. If you know, do let me know in the comments. Here is a view of the freight sidings from the end of the platform at Talara Station. The lines towards Maitland bend slightly towards the left. And here's some footage from a train going towards Maitland. So you can see the junction into the sidings starting here. You can see more lines coming in here. And this is the junction that allows terminating trains to enter the platform at Talara Station. You can see there's quite a few sidings now. Now approaching the end of the stabling yard. See the tracks are all starting to rejoin, you can see the point work here. Now down to three lines, two lines, and then over on the right is the junction towards Singleton and Scone, another crossover junction here. So we now have a container freight train coming into view, headed up by NR Class NR2, followed by an AN Class AN1, and then another NR Class NR69. Now see this train accessing the single track section towards Dungog. If you know what these last few yellow wagons are used for, do let me know in the comments. To access Talara station platforms, trains switch from the down line and take the crossover to the up line, as you can see in this diagram. Let's see this in action now. It's starting to take the crossover junction now.
So I hope you enjoyed this video at Talara Station, the first of my end of the line series. If you did, do give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, and do leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. And do subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.